But so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out this uh, AC motor and I'm going to take the forklift motor which is DC and I've already had that working all the time so I'm going to take that out and put it in here. All right the next thing to do I've got the bolts out of here that are mounted the motor to the plate bottom plate now next thing to do is to remove this junction box here um, luckily I know where everything is connected because I was the one that connected it up originally and here we have the crane operator our Anne doing a wonderful job and I'm very grateful that she's there to help we've got this loose bar tied onto the the crane here, I want to take it up and out of the way. Once more, we seem to have the mechanical advantage. What I ended up doing was putting the DC motor here instead of the AC motor. This is going to run from DC. The tough part was getting the uh, the clutch assembly off the old AC motor and mounted onto the DC motor because the shafts were of different sizes. But that's great, I'm so happy we've got this far. I mean, you know, it's not easy and I'm going to I'm gonna have to turn this bracket here backwards so that it'll fit on this shelf that I made for the original motor. What we got now is we've got the holes drilled in this base plate here and the rubber supports shock absorbers and um, we're just lifting on the electric motor here and connecting it to the clutch and onward to the transmission i've got the motor connected in with the clutch there Looks like it's in position. I've got my holes drilled in the base plate. So now I've just got to get these nuts and bolts with fine threads, of course, and put them on there. In between the actual mortar and the base plate, I've got a, you know, these rubber grommet things to try and uh, cushion the sound, of it, cushion the uh, the vibration, I guess. Major thanks to our Charlotte for helping us, cause. I couldn't have pushed that shop crane around without her help, which has been really great. Oh, it's another day on the John De Rosa. Um, been working on the motor home, um, running into a couple of problems, but the good news is, is that we got this motor, this DC forklift motor, attached to a clutch mechanism I put on, which goes into the transmission. So from the course at the drill holes and stuff get it all mounted and that and I made this uh, cross bracket there just to deal with the torque. Then we pulled the wires from inside the motor home out here, connected it up. When I turned the power on, the um, the motor started running, I was so happy. And then I looked at the direction of the motor and it was going the wrong <laughs> this is going anti-clockwise which means that I could probably drive quite a distance in reverse because that would make the, the vehicle go forward but I have no gears so I thought okay the easiest thing to do is just change the, the polarity of the two leads here which I did and when I turned it on the motor started running but it was still going the wrong direction and it dawned on us of course you got your field winding so I had to change them and the way to do that is you just change the wiring uh, or originally the field windings were on these two terminals here and the hot wire was going there, you're live so what I did was I changed the field windings from there to the live one from there, one to there and then from here out to the power supply now what that did was when I turned the power on it began running in the right direction that I'm now about to demonstrate. Okay, we've got this our DC controller. I'm going to put this, restart this um, variable resistance onto the gas pedal down there so I can accelerate properly. Anyhow, when you first turn the power on, you've got 100% battery, turn on the resistor, charging resistor, and then turn on the contactor. 
you hear that all right the light comes on lets us know what's happening and then this is the motor control and um can you hear that i'm not going to go a full blast so i just want you to see what it looks like And there it is, turning in all its glory. So finally you've got the DC motor in, it's turned the right direction. Success at last. And uh, I'm living proof that success is lined with failure. The road to success is lined with failure. So I'm really happy with that. Now we're con continue with getting everything else done. Which I've actually done, this is the final part of the job, except I got a do the inside, make it look good.
that's it then. It appears to run. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for spending all this time watching me uh, put this thing together. And uh, we'll catch you on the next project.